Right, so welcome to another vlog. This week I'm out in Cambuco, in Fortaleza in Brazil, with the World Class Kiteboard Academy. Basically in this vlog, yeah, I wanted to give you guys an insight into what it's like. You know, as a student, most people think it's purely kite surfing, when actually it's very curriculum based. They spend all morning in class doing proper lessons like normal school. But each afternoon they get the opportunity to go kite surfing in the best locations in the world. 20 kids and five teachers. They have about four or five trucks and after lunch every day they head to the lagoon. They have an option of two different lagoons in Kambuku so you can kind of pick or choose. Kawipi is a bit more of a scene, it's quite busy. Tabuba is a little bit more laid back, you get a bit more space for yourself. One thing that always helped me get better was riding with your buddies, riding with people that are better than you. And the school j does just that, you know. They ride with each other every day at the lagoon and they see each other learning tricks that they all want to do and it just really motivates them. I also try and give them insight into not just riding. I do media classes where I talk about how to be sponsored and how to work with sponsors and how to quantify yourself as a rider, making portfolios, getting in magazines, making videos, you know. We also do video feedback and for the last couple of days we've got Andre Magaro who is one of the industry's best photographers which is another really cool opportunity for them. And Andre comes into media class as well and gives a presentation on his photography and videography. We also do a lot of workouts and stretching in the mornings. The day starts at 6am with either a morning workout or a morning stretch. I took it this morning and we did a little bit of yoga, we did some tennis elbow releases to help loosen up your shoulders and arms because I suffer with really bad tendonitis and so do a lot of the kids. I've been kite surfing for 15, 16 years now. I've been professional for almost 10. So I try and just share as much knowledge with them as I can, like everything I've picked up along the way really. I think they're in class right now so I was just going to show you around their classrooms. I think there might actually be an exam so I might need to be quiet. I was going to show you around the setup and what they get up to during the day. It's really hot today and there's not much wind unfortunately. I think they're in an exam. Anything you can do to improve how you tell the story and like how interesting you can make it, it's going to help the end result. So, time to go to the beach. Yeah, dude. Look at all this gear. Anyone want to buy any gear? Gear up for grabs? That is not how you put stickers on, mate. You gotta clean it. Otherwise, they're gonna come off. I don't have time to clean. And he's putting a black sticker on a black board. Tune in for tomorrow's sticker lesson. How to put stickers on your board. Not, not, li not like this guy. Black sticker on a black board. It's gonna be sick. Woo! So, school's just finished. We're going to the beach. It's pretty cool actually. Rallying four or five trucks with the whole crew. Get down there in about 20 minutes, straight down the beach. It's one of my favourite parts of the day, actually. Rallying to the beach. Got to get the cookies in. <laughs> Got to get that energy in before you get out there. It's all about the cookies. Yeah. It's all about your pump, your kite, your board, and the cookies. And the cookies. <laughs> Car one. Yeah. Let's get you <laughs> don't need no smelly boys, do you? <laughs> so we all loaded and made in my seat. What's going on here? You're right. No, I don't have the key. <laughs> <laughs> Start the session, let the students go out, get warmed up, and I go and join them after about half an hour, so 
got the crew out on the water now. So I've got Tom Seeger trying some switch front to blinds. Just landed his first one, which is pretty cool. We just heard the Churros truck, and there's madness. Hey, so we're just walking over to do a group photo and a final send off, and I'm actually gonna give one of the students a Triple S jersey. Um, and it's actually his birthday today, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, everybody. Three, two, one. Uh, Woo! Woo! It's just a, it's a triple S jersey from last year's event. Just a little something. I would like to give it to all of you guys because you're actually all great students and all very motivated. But um, I've decided to give it to Elias because it's his birthday. Wow. <laughs> He's been working really hard. Woo! He's tried so hard. He knocked his front teeth out, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of my idea to bring Andre along to not only just get some media for the school, but also help the students understand how to work with photographers. Because a lot of them want to go into the industry and be pro kiteboarders. And a big part of being a pro kiteboarder is being able to do photo shoots and work with media guys, photographers, because actually riding for a camera is very different to just free riding and doing tricks. So I've just come for a walk down the beach to do a a final recap for my vlog. Um, yeah, just wanted to say how much fun I've had. You know, I find it so rewarding working with the school and with the kids. They're so receptive, eager, and motivated to learn. Um, yeah, it's a really, really good bunch. And they've got such a great group dynamic at the moment. I've actually really enjoyed sharing knowledge about fitness and stretching. You know, from, from my point of view, I find it really interesting actually, you know, getting your body in the best shape you possibly can to perform and you know I winged it for a long time in my life for five six years I didn't stretch I didn't do any training I just kiteboarded every day and it caught up with me I've got really bad tennis elbow I had an ankle operation and I realized that if you want to keep doing it for a long time until you get old you've got to look after yourself but yeah it's been an amazing week and I feel very fortunate to have the opportunity so thank you very much world class and I hope to see you uh, again soon and if anyone watching actually is interested in coming to World Class Kiteboard Academy or getting a taste of what it's like, we're actually hosting a training camp in Perth from January the 13th until the 23rd. So yeah, thanks again guys. Really appreciate the support for watching. Give me some feedback because I don't know if my vlogs are any good yet, but it's only number two. I'll see you next time. Big ups.